20 blocks north of the Danforth, another investigation is underway on the seventh floor. Toronto police searched the family apartment of Faisal Hussein in Thorncliffe Park, a series of older high-rises, a popular place to settle for new Canadians, especially Pakistanis like the Husseins. We've learned Faisal Hussein's family is well known in Thorncliffe Park's Muslim community. His father helped establish the nearby mosque, but his father has cancer. One of his brothers is in a coma, and his sister was killed in a car accident a decade ago. They are very good people. They are very good people. It is really very shocking for me. This man lives on the same floor as Hussein's family and knows the parents well, as do many of the tenants, but he only sees Faisal once in a while. Once a month, uh, I just see him walking. He's, he's very, very simple and very, very, uh, I mean, humble person. He, I, don't, I don't understand. Faisal Hussein's friend says he'd been struggling with mental health problems for years. But he kept to himself. He was quiet, never hurt anyone. I've never seen him get into a fight with anyone. The family confirmed this today in a statement. They say, we are utterly devastated by the incomprehensible news that our son was responsible for the senseless violence and loss of life, and that Faisal had severe mental health challenges, struggling with psychosis and depression his entire life. The interventions of professionals were unsuccessful, medications and therapies were unable to treat him, and that they did their best to seek help for him throughout his life of struggle and pain. They end by saying their hearts are in pieces for the victims and for our city as we all come to grips with this terrible tragedy. Vic joins us now and, and we hear Hussein's family and friends say they're completely surprised by this, but there's still some pretty significant questions about what led to last night's actions. Indeed, foremost, how did Hussein obtain a gun? And witnesses say that he changed the clip rather quickly. Um, and even the video suggests that he knew how to handle this weapon. And we also heard, of course, uh, all the witnesses who, who say that they saw him, the fact that he seemed so calm throughout this shooting rampage. And that seems to suggest, you know, or at least question, was there any planning that went into this? So we may get some of those answers in the coming days. All right. Thank you very much.